Hello there and welcome to the launch of the Ghana Web Excellence Awards Youth Edition. My name is Ismail Akwe, the Editor-in-Chief of Africa Web. It's that time of the year again. Last year, you, the audience of Ghana Web, nominated several personalities in various sectors for various categories of the Ghana Web Excellence Awards. In its second year running, the Ghana Web Excellence Awards focuses on the youth of Ghana and is going to be run under the theme, The Future Is Now. This is your time, this is our time. We have two important personalities who are on standby to help us unveil the categories. Eche Atisu, the host of the Untold on Ghana Web TV. Na Oyokote, the host of Bestech on Ghana Web TV. The pair was integral in the event last year and they are here to do it again. Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Thank you very much, Ismail Akwe. Eche, what's up? Uh, we're back again. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, likewise. And it seems like a year has already caught up with us already. That's right. That seemed like a short time. And last year, I had the honors of hosting the maiden events at the Accra City Hotel yeah. in December of 2021. And you, you did the... The feeling of the enemies. Wonderful. And yeah. this year, we have given something more refreshing for you, our readers and our audience. And this year's theme is for the youth that is why it's a youth edition and last year what we did was that we had 17 personalities who were awarded after you our readers nominated over a hundred people in various categories and also we had some special awards that we gave to some other personalities who, who we thought had an amazing work for this country let's give you a gist of how all of that went down last year Started Ghana Web ago. Uh, started Ghana Web about uh, 23 years ago, on the 1st of January uh, 2022. It will be 23 years. Well, initially it was just me, but thanks to the support of many, many people uh, patronizing uh, uh, the website, we have grown a lot, really. I think everybody. Now, on this occasion. We do something different. Uh, we let uh, use our Why? audience to, uh, to highlight people who have Why? made a difference in Ghana in the past year. Why? So this is uh, what the uh, awards are all about. Ghana Web Report is about democratizing uh, journalism. So everyone in Ghana can become a reporter. What Rob has made, because Rob is looking to his screen always every day, that's why he's wearing glasses. He was thinking of some magic so that you get features that everybody with a phone in his hand can make a report on something he experiences. So Father Kemba told me about his beautiful project for the Lepra people, for the street kids. Why don't we make something like ghanaweb.com slash reporter slash charity? And we make you owner of that part, of the Lepra people, the street kids, and that everybody can donate there and we can uh, read to your stories and see what you're doing but because it's good that people take care of the community in the spirit of transparency is unveiling the plaques so we have some beautiful plaques here that will be going home with um, our nominees and those who are going to win uh, the Ghana Web Excellence Awards that we have and it's time to unveil them so you see how they look like the hand claps. So there they are. Father Andrew Campbell for winning Humanitarian Award. Another well deserved award. So the Peace and Diplomacy Special Award goes out to Dr. Vladimir Danso. The winner of this uh, award is Bright Yao Hojo. Congratulations, Bright. Hello. Celebrity painter. Women Empowerment Award. Women empower us, Stacey. With your, with your beautiful dress, empower you should us. be longer on the stage <laughs> than I. Thank you, Stacey. 
Thank you very much, Stacy. Thank you, Mark. Because it goes to one very special person, Professor Stephen Adai. Your advocate for good governance is Bishop Samuel Noim. Now, surprise, shock, and gratitude. These were the emotions expressed by winners to Ghana Web readers for the recognition when they received their awards. Here is a video of some of them. Yes, I've been in this job for about 33 years. I've taught thousands of students from all over the world. Yes, I think some of them are waving. <laughs> uh, military people all over the world, Canada, Rwanda. I still have from 28 African countries where I'm teaching. And I think I've contributed enough to peace and diplomacy. And I thank you for recognizing me. Uh, it goes to everybody else who loves peace and security in this world. It's very important. We're joking with it. And I believe we've got to realize it. Let me quote myself on two occasions. One, leadership is cause. Everything else is effect. The second one is that the most powerful leaders who leave legacy combine character, competence, and care for other people like Father Campbell. Thank you. For me, this goes to all the other women who were in this category, especially Ohinayire Gifty Auntie, who is a big sister to me, who keeps pushing me to be unstoppable. So to every woman here, if we are all able to empower a woman, trust me, we are going to empower the globe. I will use this opportunity to thank Ghana Web as a whole and the organizers for this award. They've really done well. And this shows I need to do more. My name is Bright, but officially known as the Celebrity Painter Ghana. Thank you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just to say thank you very much for all you've been a blessing, a real blessing serving Ghana and serving all the needy and poor people. I feel blessed and honored. Thank you. In the next 2024 and beyond, the next decade, will emerge young men and women who will not be 80 years and 90 years to run their country, but young men and women who will turn the clock of Africa around through quality leadership. And that is what we stand for, and that's what we believe in. So, Influential Man Award and Media Development Award. So to those of you who nominated me, to those of you who voted for me, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. And uh, to the guys at Ghana, we're well. I'm not always your friend, but thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Say a big thank you to uh, the organizers, Ghana Web. I mean, uh, Ghana Web is one of the strong online portals that when we're all coming up, we, I mean, we'll go there to read stories and all that. So for them to start this maiden edition of the uh, I mean, award scheme and me getting the best uh, uh, influential or the most influential blogger, I think that I'm super humble. God bless them. I was actually very surprised when I got the yeah, the message from you guys, right? Yeah, because my name has always been confused <laughs> <laughs> with the business yeah. one, right? <laughs> no, but it's good actually because um, I think, yeah, for a long time, in terms of looking at the creative arts sector and all that, I've, I've always thought that the infrastructure has been very limited, right? So, at least as artists, we should take responsibility for somehow shifting the narrative, right. which can go a long way to empower a lot more other generations which are yet to come, and also maybe. Um, yeah, somehow put limelight on the older generation also. Right. So I think this also goes a long way to somehow restore faith in the, the significance of the work that we do. I have 
to say that Ghana wife is a true representation of the UK. They so high, they never idle. They wobble into the skies feather as they tame hearts forever with the soothing melodies ever from a flute of a nightingale, constantly changing notes that sends hearts to sonnets. Ghana wife, your personality is still evolving. Your tenacity cannot be mistaken for revolutionism. Ghana wife, I will eat your Kora if I sad as a true woman. You train your staff on about the thick clouds. Clouds that define progress, growth, excellence, and true professionalism. Okay. You know what's happening this year? No, tell me. Well, we have 16 categories. We want to honor and celebrate 16 young personalities who are doing amazingly well in their various fields of endeavor. But to qualify for the awards, you or the person you nominate must be between the ages of 15 and 35. Now, let's take a look at the categories for this year's awards. Alright, so the first category for this year's Ghana Web Excellence Awards, the Youth Edition, is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Agriculture. And in this category, we're looking for successful youth entrepreneurs engaged in agriculture and agribusiness. Next is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Information Technology. Exemplary youth working in the digital space qualify for nominations in this category. Okay? This is one of those categories that I think a lot of young people should be interested in. And because yeah. I know there are a lot of amazing things that young people are doing in IT for that matter. And exactly. so I hope to see a lot of nominations coming through. And I must say IT is the ish. Oh, like, yeah, it is. It's, it's, I mean, that's where the, it's a big thing now. That's where the cash is. I know, I know you love the sound of cash. I know, right? On to the next category <laughs> is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Sports. Now, in this category, we're looking for talented youth who are excelling in any competitive sport, be it football, athletics, boxing, hockey, and the likes. I think a lot of these young guys who are, especially for the sporting season we are in, especially for Ghana, football, black stars, they're yeah. amazing guys that I think would fit in here, not the babies. <laughs> they, are, they are old now. <laughs> I'd also like to add our new coach, Otuado. Oh, I think yes. he's, he's, he's bringing some excitement in sports. I mean, sports doesn't necessarily mean football, but I think that's that's a thing for Ghanaian youth. So I think, yeah, we are it's doing up, great It's up to our readers yeah. and our listeners right now. The next category is Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Women Advocacy. Impactful youth promoting women's empowerment and rights. Now, both men and women qualify for nominations in this category. Okay, this we have women advocacy. Those, yes, one of those. You know, earlier we had a conversation about how there are a lot of men doing women advocacy. Men like myself. Yes, feminists, you know. Yeah, you know, at feminist. first it was weird to have men feminists, but mm. even our boss is a feminist. Oh, yes. Yeah. Our big boss himself. Our big boss is a feminist. <laughs> On to the next category is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Fashion. Now, in this category, you can nominate any influential youth excelling in the fashion industry to be awarded. Next, we have the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Music, Drama and Dance. Now, in this category, we have um, talented youth excelling in the music, drama and dance industry. I, I really want to nominate myself. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I can oh, do some small boogie. Yeah. The, the Let me see. Like Bo, lo, lo, lo. Oh, exactly. Oh, okay. Boogie. But there are a lot of, yeah. a lot of names. Uh, we're not mentioning names just to uh, lead people on. But I think yeah. the likes of Dance God, uh, Afronita, 
I mean, they're all from the and same. And they're not doing it for themselves. No. They are really bringing in their youth to appreciate dance more. And a lot of music these days comes with some unique kinds of dancing. So this yeah. is it for us. Nominate your favorites. Let's move on to the next one. Is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Media and Communication. Now, in this category, we are looking for people who have been impacting the youth sector in the media and communication industry. Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Health Distinguished Youth Promoting Lives in the Healthcare Industry notes that for this category, doctors, nurses, non-professional healthcare workers, or even advocates of health issues can be nominated. So pick your favorites and nominate. On to the next one is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Education. Now in this category, we're looking for inspirational youth who are engaged in teaching and education advocacy and also take notes that just like in the health category, both teaching and non-teaching staff also are eligible for this award. Now we move on to the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Leadership. Inspirational youth showing commitment to development in society, organization, or any institution can be nominated for this category. Another one of those categories that I think that a lot of young people are really showing that they truly are deserving of leadership. Many young people are coming out to show what they can do and lead in this country and other aspects of life and give us some hope that their future is not bleak as it seems. The future is now and the proactiveness as well as boldness is showing everywhere. That's it. That takes us to the next category which is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Entrepreneurship. Now in this category we're looking for successful youth entrepreneurs running a scalable business. Anyone who started a business something that is innovative, small business on the side that you think is eligible for this category, go ahead and nominate them. Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Science and Engineering Exemplary youth playing an active role in science and engineering qualify for this category. Actually, we have a lot of um, youth I think would be in or may be in this category. STEM, 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 STEM which yeah. has become a big thing now many young people and I'm particularly happy for the fact that many young women are also taking interest in this area. It's a proud moment for women. So go, go you, go you, go you. <laughs> Let's go on to the next category now is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Visual Arts. Now in this category we are looking for talented youth in painting, digital arts, design, sculptures, etc. So if you know any such person this is the time to appreciate them and have them celebrated. On to the next category, Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Diaspora. This category is for inspirational youth in the diaspora promoting Ghana's culture. I know you want to take, go have a take on this one <laughs> because I, I know I know what you, you, you the interest you have in this. Exactly, I'm I'm really proud that a lot of. Um, Religions coming back home, mm. especially the young ones. Like you said earlier, we have a lot of old people. In those days, people didn't really want to come home. Yeah. But now, I think uh, people are more open-minded. They're like, no, look, we have to make our country great. We have to, we have to be exemplary for those also here. And so I think they want that to start up we and can also relocate. give some kudos to the government for the year of return, exactly. which brought back a lot of people into the country. More jobs. Like and more money. For. Yeah. Let's look at the next category now is the Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Peace and Diplomacy. Now in this category, we are looking for impactful youth who are advocating for peace in Ghana. Ghana Web Youth Excellence in Innovation. Successful youth demonstrating innovative ideas, products or services qualify for nominations in this category. Um, this category is also an interesting one because, of course, like you said, the youth are always striving for change and they are doing something better to um, make their lives better. Can you imagine Pinky on wheels? You Pinky, know, Pinky having wheels. Even Gobe, Gobe. has post right now. Gobe, almighty Gobe. <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of the main 16 categories for this year's Excellence Awards. But 
We have another category which you can call the 17th category and it's the Ghana Web Youth Excellence Award. Now for this category, there will not be the need for you to nominate anyone. The organizers will take charge of this category where they will present an award to a distinguished youth organization. So once again, no need for nominations for this particular category. Now many young people are doing amazing things in their various fields. But they only stand a chance of winning if you nominate them. Let's find out how you can nominate your favorites for the Ghana Web Excellence Awards Youth Edition. Visit www.ghanawebexcellenceawards.com and click the nominations bar or click the nomination banner on www.ghanaweb.com. Provide your personal details by entering your first and last names. Fill in your contact details in essence, phone number, and email address. Select the appropriate category out of 16 options for your preferred nominee. Provide the personal details of your preferred nominee. Provide at least one or more social media handles of your preferred nominee. Tell us why your nominee qualifies for the selected category and then proceed. You receive a pop-up with, would you like to make another nomination? If yes, click yes and go through the same process of nominating another person. If no, click no and you are done nominating your preferred person. Remember, your nominee must be between the ages of 15 and 35. So, for the launch and opening of nominations, I welcome Editor-in-Chief of Africa Web, Ismail Akwe. There you have it. You've seen the categories and also the nomination process. I do hereby declare the Ghana Web Excellence Awards Youth Edition launched. And also, I declare the nomination open. It was a fun ride. It was. And I think all of you qualify. All of us we do. Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering which category Oya is going to be in. The dance. Oh, yeah. The dance? Are you yeah, I like the dance. I can dancing. put my money on it that you will not win. Anything. Trust me, I can also put my money on it and make sure I win. Hey, okay. so, my money, eh? You know, the future is now and we are all part of the future. Of course we are. The future is now and we are the future. So that's it from us here from the CJ TV studio in Accra. My name is Eche Atisu. I'm the host of The Untold on Ghana Web TV. And my name is Ismail Akwe. I'm also the host of The Lowdown on Ghana Web TV and Editor-in-Chief of Africa Web. And I am Na Oyokwati, host of Bestech on Ghana Web TV. So that's it. Nominations are open. Best wishes to all the nominees. Remember, the, the future, future is now. now. Thank you.